Last week's Thursday, the Japanese government shocked the world with its controversial decision. They started releasing radioactive water from Fukushima's power plant straight into the Pacific Ocean, claiming it was totally safe to do so. To prove their point, Japan's Prime Minister, Fumio Kishida, made a brave move. He ate sashimi of flounder, octopus, and sea bass caught off the Fukushima coast. So what really happened in recent events to make Japan's Prime Minister do such an act? Back in 2011, Japan was hit by one of the strongest earthquakes and tsunamis in the Tohoku region, causing the meltdown of three reactors at the Fukushima power plant. To avert further disaster, workers of the plant flooded the reactors with water, becoming highly contaminated and radioactive. Although today the plant is offline with its reactors defunct, they still need to be cooled to avoid another disaster. Watering is the only way to do it. However, the water issue became a huge challenge for the Japanese government. According to their authorities, there are 350 million gallons of radioactive water stored in more than 1,000 tanks on site. Moreover, the tanks are nearing capacity and the site can't have any more of them, so the Japanese government decided to get rid of them. The best way to do it, according to the Japanese government, is to release it into the ocean. Although it sounds alarming, the water isn't fully contaminated and radioactive. One Japanese utility company called TEPCO actually pumps that water out of the basement and puts it through a complex treatment process. This process can remove several different radioactive contaminants from the water, such as hazardous isotopes like cesium-137 and strontium-90. But there is one radioactive isotope they cannot filter out at all, tritium. What's so difficult about it? You see, it's an isotope of hydrogen, hydrogen being the part of water itself, H2O. All in all, it's impossible to remove the tritium from the water. There is no such filter to do it. Still, the Japanese government claims that tritium isn't all that bad, especially by comparing it with other highly radioactive isotopes. They're right, but tritium is a relatively weak decay, but it's still part of water, meaning it can move through biological organisms really fast. The good thing is that tritium doesn't live that long, only 12 years, unlike other elements like uranium-235, which has a half-life of 700 million years. So the Japanese government shared the plan of dumping water, based on three steps. The first set is diluting the water with seawater, so that there's a lot less tritium in every drop. The second step is taking that diluted water and passing it through a tunnel under the seafloor to a point off the coast of Fukushima in the Pacific Ocean. That will dilute it faster. And finally, they're going to do it slowly, but it will take literal decades to empty all these tanks. The government thinks it's the safest option available, while the International Atomic Energy Agency has peer-reviewed the plan and believes it is consistent with international safety standards. This decision might be the least bad option that can cause minimal damage to the environment, many experts believe, but countries don't stand aside. China has already banned all seafood exports from Japan, believing this water will contaminate all sea creatures, making them inedible. However, Japan's Prime Minister, Fumio Kishida, made a serious statement against this claim. He and three cabinet ministers ate Fukushima fish sashimi at a lunch meeting Wednesday as an effort to show that fish is safe to eat since the water was released into the ocean. This was to prove their point, that what they're doing is safe, and people can continue eating Fukushima sea creatures. That is a serious dedication to proving you're right. Would you take a bite of Fukushima fish?